In a land far from home where the air was thick with the weight of war, a soldier named Ryan stood at a crossroads. He had always been a man of duty, following orders without question, believing in the cause he fought for. But today, his conviction wavered as he received a command that made his heart sink. Ryan's unit had been ordered to clear out a village suspected of harboring enemy forces. But as he and his fellow soldiers approached, they found only innocent families, women, children, and elders, with fear in their eyes and no weapons in sight. The order was to evacuate them, by force if necessary, even though Ryan knew they posed no threat. His commanding officer insisted, but something inside Ryan protested. He felt the pull of two forces, loyalty to his comrades and the code he had sworn to uphold, and the moral conviction that told him this was wrong. Ryan knew what would happen if he disobeyed. He would be labeled a traitor, a deserter. But could he live with himself if he followed orders and hurt these people who had done nothing wrong? That night, as the others slept, Ryan lay awake, the weight of the decision pressing on his chest. He thought of his family back home, of the values they had instilled in him, honesty, kindness, justice. Could he betray those values for the sake of following orders? The next morning, Ryan made his decision. He went to his commanding officer and refused to carry out the order. He explained that he couldn't in good conscience harm innocent people. His officer's face hardened, and Ryan was arrested on the spot for insubordination. Word spread quickly, and soon Ryan found himself alone, shunned by those he had considered his brothers. In the following days, Ryan was court-martialed. He was stripped of his rank, dishonorably discharged, and sent home in disgrace. The betrayal stung deeply. He had sacrificed everything he believed in, only to be cast aside by those he had trusted. Back home, Ryan struggled to rebuild his life. The shame of what had happened followed him everywhere. People whispered behind his back, and even his own family looked at him differently. He tried to find work, but no one wanted to hire a disgraced soldier. But as time passed, something inside Ryan began to change. He realized that, despite the pain of betrayal, he had done the right thing. He had stood by his morals, even when it cost him everything. Slowly, he began to forgive himself, understanding that his worth wasn't determined by others' opinions, but by his actions. One day, Ryan was called to testify in a trial against his former commanding officer, who was being accused of war crimes. Ryan knew that telling the truth could help expose the injustice, but it would also mean reliving his trauma and facing those who had turned their backs on him. It was another crossroads, another test of his character. As Ryan sat in the courtroom, he looked at the judge, who would have to make a difficult decision. The judge could follow the strict letter of the law, punishing Ryan's former officer for disobeying higher orders, or they could show mercy, understanding the moral complexities involved. Ryan saw himself in the judge's position, torn between justice and compassion. When Ryan took the stand, he spoke not just of the orders given, but of the lives that would have been destroyed if he had followed them. He talked about the importance of conscience, of doing what is right, even when it's hard. The courtroom was silent as he finished, the weight of his words hanging in the air. The judge, moved by Ryan's testimony, decided to bend the rules. The commanding officer was held accountable, but with an understanding of the moral dilemma he had faced. Ryan's courage had not only helped bring justice, but had also restored some of the trust he had lost. As Ryan left the courthouse, he felt a sense of peace he hadn't known in years. He had faced betrayal, struggled to rebuild his life, and now, finally, had found redemption. The road ahead was still uncertain, but for the first time, Ryan knew that he could walk it with his head held high. In life, we may face decisions that challenge our deepest beliefs. The path of integrity is not always the easiest, but it is the one that leads to true peace and self-respect.